May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary today. I'll be reacting to Charlie Kek one college student to watch out for woke nonsense. So without further ado, let's get started. Tilt it up, yeah. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Uh, I'm just curious about your stance on college as a scam because I feel like according to the Hamilton Institute, uh, people who get bachelor degrees over a total lifetime earnings will earn of over one million dollars more than those who don't. And also, I feel like college is an important place for people to like go learn valuable life lessons. And also, it's good to have like a balanced society because then you're going to get artists, you're also going to get architectures, you're going to get engineers, you're going to get all sorts of different people that we need in society. Because, like, what's the point in living if we don't have writers or artists? You know. So I just want to get your take on that. Sure. The question is, do the best writers learn to write in college? Probably not, no. The best writers are gifted writing and they learn to write by writing. Uh, and I would just argue that this kind of holistic view you get, for example, what are you studying, can I, can I ask? Economics. Okay, so what do you think of Thomas Sowell? Um, I actually really like him. I bought his book, Basic Economics. Great. He's one of the first economists do, I ever Do they really teach it at. here? Uh, not yet, but also I've only okay. Been for like so now you're proving my point. If you're studying economics and they're not teaching Thomas Sowell, you're not getting an education. You're getting an indoctrination, <laughs> well, and no. you're being scammed. Okay. Milton Friedman. Do they teach Milton Friedman here? No, but I'm aware of him. Okay. Ludwig von Mises. I'm aware of him, but no. Murray well, Rothbard. Hold on. No. F. A. Hayek. No. Frederick Bastiat. No. You're not getting economics education, you're getting an indoctrination. You should know everything, it's not your fault, but the, what you're paying for or going into debt for is not a real economic education. Those are the people that theorized about free markets, and that, which is a legitimate school of thinking. Monetarism, private property rights, and the fact that you, and not, I'm not criticizing you, I'm criticizing the institution that's failing you, mm. that you don't know what these people believe and you're not being taught that rigorously, proves my point that college is a scam. Yeah, but again, I've only been here like a semester and a half. So, but what do you know who John Maynard Keynes is? Heard of him. I okay. actually you did read about him a little bit. Okay, so you read about John Maynard Keynes, but in you were Keynes. Yeah, in class. I love yeah, him okay. in class. Right. So that's my point is that they'll teach you Keynes, but they won't teach you one out of the seven people that I mentioned, Bastiat, Hayek, von Mises, Rothbard, Sol, or Friedman. And that's that that proves my point, which is that it's all demand side. It's all one picture of an economic argument that is not the complete picture of what, now maybe later on you'll get a supply side you know, economics teacher here, mm. but this idea that you go to college to kind of get your worldview liberated, yet you get your worldview altered, to be perfectly honest. Secondly, to your point of earnings over a period of time, it matters completely and solely on what you study. Yeah. If you study the liberal arts, even after 10, year, 10 years, study came out yesterday, 16 lowest paid majors happen to be some of the highest majors that people actually go and study, which is liberal arts, you know, sociology, God bless people that do that stuff, I suppose. Um, but you're also filled with all of the woke rubbish that is infecting our society. <laughs> but tell me, where is the lie? I, I'm still looking for it. Where is the lie? Because what he's saying is true, you know, education or, you know, when it comes to university or college degree, they channel you into um, whatever the society believe in or whatever majority of the society believe in, you know. When you try to kick against what the, the, they believe in or let's say you, they bring a theory, you can't have a theory, they won't teach you that in school. They'll teach you what majority of the population believe in. And to me, I feel that is where we are getting it wrong. I know they are trying to not confuse students, but at least let them know what is really happening you know just like um when I, I know i'm deviating a bit but um i i read somewhere that in like jesus gave birth to a daughter and um they don't want to put that part in the bible i don't know how true it is because they don't want to confuse you know people you know because you know the way the bible portrays jesus is like a perfect man and you know he's human anyway and he came to the world to be human, you know, to be like us. And we human, we are full of sin. And if he gave birth and we are not told about that in the Bible, then I feel like the, we are missing out, okay? And I don't know if that is 100% true or if it, if it really happened. You know, he said he gave, he, 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 I think Mary Mandeline gave birth for him or something like that. But please, I don't know if that is um, a fact, okay? Or it's just like people trying to, paint the Bible bad, but that is 
an example of what is happening in our you know society as, uh, in our educational you know field because when i went to the university they only taught me what i need after school you know they are not teaching me what people think about this you know you can bring a theory and someone else will counter that theory and make and, and, and prove that yes this your theory isn't working anymore it might be working years back but it's not working again so at least people our, our, our lecturers or our teachers keep on teaching us this what they learned let's say 30 years ago 40 years ago it's only a few of them that go back to school, you know, to update their, their self, you know, to, to add more knowledge to themselves. If not, they keep on teaching us what they've learned in the past. And let's say I, I studied accounting and majority of what I learned in school were all, you know, theory. They were just a few practical, you know, they, they, they never for once took us to the field, you know, show us what a real accountant do in the office and all. They just taught us about figures, you know, unrealistic figures, figures that you might not even count in your entire life. You know, that is what we've been taught in school. And the painful part was at, at the end of the day, when I was in my level 400, my lecturer was telling me that um, if you have any job that is a side accounting, go for it. OK, whatever you have been asked to do, you know, they will surely explain everything before you resume your job. And I was like, if that is how it works, then why did I waste four years of my life in school? Because if, if you're telling me that whatever job I'm being assigned to, they will actually explain what I need to do. Then why did I come to school? You know, why did I waste that four years of my life in school? You know, learning this um, field that I might not use, and even up to now, I'm not making use of my certificate. But that does not mean I'm not making something for for myself. But it just shows that education is indeed a scam. You know, there there are profession that you will study something like nursing, you know, medicine, engineering. You know that after school, you you will definitely get a job because it's something that is um what's it called. Is in demand you know everyone is looking for um, a doctor so you can you will surely get a hospital that will hire you as maybe their doctor or you will be an assistant but still you get a job and you will practice that field because you know when you're studying medicine they take you out of the field they take you to different hospitals you know you learn you practice you are there um a, 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 let's say a doctor will supervise you make sure that whatever you're doing is right at least you're getting the practical part of what you are learning in school but not all professions are opportune to experience this which is why I feel like it's, it's bad, you know. In my school, we have a boss that take nurses around, you know, take them to different hospitals, you know, teach them, you know, what they are learning in school. Because I, I just feel like because it's a life and death thing, so they feel like, yes, you need to practice it, you need to be... But what, what happened to us that study accounting? Don't we deserve to be in the field to, you know, know what you are teaching us? Or is just theory, just keep on pouring theory on our head? I think that is what Charlie is saying, you know. The guy might not agree with him that school is calm, but... Charlie made mention of several books that at least he know of that um, that have disputed what the educational sector is teaching students. Okay, that the teachers need to you know at least let them aware of you know open their mind to it. You know, at least you don't need to tell them everything about the book or you know, but at least you let them know that there is this thing out there that you know there are people who don't believe in this. That at least they are they are out there just in case you are being faced with such a um, a scenario or you can defend yourself. I think, assuming the guy was being taught, at least he would have been able to defend himself when Charlie brought up these names. But no, he, they, they, they've not, okay, maybe they, maybe because he said he had just done his first semester, but at least I know there are several books that they are depriving us from even, you know, going through because they feel like it will mess our head or it will confuse what they, have been, what they are teaching us. So I feel modern education is like an ideology. You see, when, um, let's say, the, the people in the system or the people ruling us try to pass laws or try to bring new things into the society and people are not buying into it, what they do is they bring it to our education. They teach our younger generation because they know that they are in school. They are, they are, they are, you can easily manipulate them, especially the younger generation. You know, tell them things that you feel they deserve to know. And at the end of the day, they are, they've, they've bought into their ideology. They are sticking to it. They are making it look like yeah, that is how life is supposed to be because their teacher have taught them so. Anyway, this is a beautiful one. I enjoyed it so much and I want to see more videos from Charlie. So if you have any recommendation, let me know in the comment section. If this is your first time visiting the channel, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and remain blessed.